Hey what is up guys, Andy with a YouTube video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can make your video sound so much better for your YouTube recordings or so forth, whatever you're doing. And the best thing is it's completely for free and it's super easy, so keep watching. To make sure that you never miss any of my other videos, if you go ahead and scroll down to where the subscribe button is and click on the little bell beside it, this will activate so that next time I post a video, it'll come up on your phone as a notification and you can go ahead and click on it right from there and watch it straight then. Because I know you guys are waiting for my videos to come out. <laughs> Before we get this video started, if you go ahead and smash that like button to show me the love, it'd be greatly appreciated. Now, on with the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and get with the video. So what I've already done here offhand is I have recorded the stock audio off actual recording what we're doing now because I don't want it to conflict with the audio I'm doing um, but it is I just recorded it just now it is stock audio as you can see undo record I just recorded it just now so I'm gonna go ahead and let you hear what the stock audio sounds like without any editing on it so let's go ahead and hear it this is a pre-recording and a testing of what the difference is between stock audio and edited audio all right so as you can tell it sounds kind of grainy my voice isn't as full and just isn't there and it just sounds, it doesn't sound that great compared to, of course, what this audio is now. And the thing about it is, is it's completely free. This program is Audacity. It's an amazing program. I use it every time I edit any audio I'm doing. Um, so, and the thing about it is, is I'm, you don't have to have an expensive microphone or anything like that or some kind of crazy editing, audio editing program to make your video sound better, your audio sound better. Like I'm recording this right now off of a $50 microphone, the microphone Snowball. Um, and my, actually my audio sounds better than a lot of like, people who own a lot more expensive microphones because they don't edit their audio correctly and they probably use some program that's different but the thing about this is it's completely free and it makes your audio sound fantastic so why not right so it's super fast and easy so basically let's go ahead and get with this this setup here and what you want to do is you want to go ahead and select your audio and, and once you've downloaded audacity i will have a link in the description below and what you want to do is you want to click on effect up here and the thing you can either go to manage here and check the ones you need or you can just go and find them through the big list of effects that'll be here. But what I've done is I've chosen the three that you'll need, which is equaliza er, equalization, noise reduction, and normalize. I just only have the change pitch there because um, it sounds. It may, I like med edit editing with my voice pitch and stuff, just messing around. But what you have here is equalization, noise reduction, and normalize. Those are the three things you will need. So once you have this uh, selected here, your audio, you want to click Effect and go to Equalization, and this thing will come up here this whatever this is and you want to this graph I guess and you want to go down to select curve and you want to go to base boost and go ahead and click OK and then you click effect again go to equalization and go to treble boost on the select curve so now it was up there now it's down here and you just click OK again and as you can see it edited our audio some and our it's a lot louder and what it does is the base boost is gonna make your voice sound more more full like fuller it's gonna sound a lot deeper not deeper but better and then the treble will equalize out with the tre with the bass, so it's not like your voice is super deep, but it's not super high because the bass keeps the treble equalized. That's why it's an equalization. So it makes just basically basically makes your voice sound so much better. That's the first step. The next thing you want to do is you want to click Effect. You want to go down to Normalize and make sure that the check mark for Remove DC is on. Check mark the Normalize Maximum Amplitude to negative one de decibel rating or decibels. My bad and then make sure that's unchecked on the normalized stereo channels independently and pretty much after that you just click OK and as you can see it made our audio even louder now and it just normalized our audio of course we can always turn it down or adjust it when we're editing and then the last thing you want to do is you want to select the part of the audio and now let me go ahead and explain what's going to happen next alright so sometimes when I'm recording my video it's hot in my room or something so I'll turn my fan on behind me and when I'm recording it'll you can hear a little bit of a hum and I've noticed it in my audio recordings and I, it doesn't sound too pleasant, especially in your videos. So this completely removes those, that noise in the background. So if you have a refrigerator, if your, your computer's really loud or something, this will completely remove that or make it sound a lot better um, if you're having problems with that. So what you want to do is you want to select the part of the audio where you're not talking. So it's, you're just selecting the background noise. So say that this part is the sound of a micro or the sound of a refrigerator that's going in the background and it's making this humming noise well you want to select that part of the audio where you're not talking you want to click effect go to noise reduction click get noise profile then you want to deselect it so you've got your entire audio selected so just click anywhere in it click effect click noise reduction and in step two you want to make sure your noise reduction is set to nine 
The sensitivity is set to 5.5 and the frequency smoothing band is set to zero and your noise is set to reduce. And after that, you just click OK. And as you can see in our audio, it has significantly reduced this part, oops, significantly reduced this part where it was louder and also these parts where I'm not talking. I think it's a little part at the end where I need to cut off. But, um, and it significantly reduced the parts where I'm not talking. So it basically sounds it makes it sound a lot more professional and like there's not any echo or anything. So I'll go ahead and let you hear what a final version sounds like. This is a pre-recording and a testing of what the difference is between stock audio and edited audio. Now, as you can see, that sounds amazing. It sounds so much better than what it was before. And it literally took maybe two or three minutes just to edit that little piece there. And you can do that with a whole bunch of your audio. And I do it with all my audio and it makes it sound a million times better. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to share this with you. Several of you were commenting and asking me how I edited my audio and how I made it sound so good and what I do to edit my audio for my videos. And this is exactly what I do to make it sound how it sounds right now. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, if you like this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any suggestions for my videos or if you just want to talk. Um, if you have any friends that are having problems with this, be sure to share this video with them. It'll help them a lot. or I hope it'll help them out a lot. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Back from the dead.